guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Pink Lady Gamer, and today we're going to play some more Hearts Medicine Time to Heal. I recorded a previous episode earlier, and um, it got corrupted, and or died. I just didn't record. I don't know what happened to it, so you might see that I played some levels since the last episode. So, yeah, I might go back and try to go ahead and back and play those episodes. So you guys can see what you missed from the last, like, especially with the storyline and everything, because since this game has a storyline, more or less the reason I want to get back to playing this game is because lately here on YouTube, I've been binge watching a show I used to watch when I was a kid, which was called Rescue 911. If anybody has, if anybody have ever heard of it, that's awesome, but... I've been watching that and I, just reliving childhood memories and plus it taught me a lot of things. So, we are going to get back into the story and let's get going. So, um, I think the last, I know it says we're going to be on 8, but I think, um, I can't remember guys. I think we were on 4. I think the last time you guys seen anything. Yeah, okay. We are going to go back onto four, the ward. We're going to keep Earl's blood pressure needs to be monitored. So, let's get to it. You look suspiciously happy. I know, it was this thing Daniel said yesterday. He talked about not getting, letting negative voices influence him, and I guess that stuck in my mind. Talking about negative voices. Oh, look, there's Earl, guys. I hope he doesn't give you too much trouble, but Earl's blood pressure needs to be checked every minute or so today. Don't worry, I'm just going to kill him with kindness, right? We all have to kill some pe grumpy people with kindness. You, can you kill me now? Because I'm already done with this happy nonsense. Aw, oh, poor cynical guy. <laughs> Everybody's all laughing. Um, so yeah, we got 400, whatever, 400 money, so I'm thinking we should add, hmm, maybe we'll add another nice chair. Let's go with that. Alright, let's start playing, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I keep him and you done yet. Oh, yeah. I'm done, mister. Oh, good grief, guys. This might be harder than I think. Ah, pass the buckles. Wow, guys, this gets a little interesting after a while. Make sure to check his blood pressure. Oh, good God, guys, this is so much fun. Get all the bubbles. Yay, bubbles. Who doesn't like bubbles? I know in Besson you can't have bubbles in there. That just... Are you done yet? Earl, just have patience with me, dude. If I just... Oh, yeah. Gosh, guys, it's kind of hard to find... Trying to get everybody in there. Oh, good God, this is really stressful. Trying to make sure his blood pressure stays up. Can you be any slower? I can, if I really want to. Band-aid for you. The thermometer for you. Don't hurry on my account. Oh, Mr. Earl, you just need just to calm down. It's not going to hurt you at all. Okay. Whew. 
That one just gets a little nerve wracking there. I don't really like that one. Did I do it this time? <gasps> yes, guys, I did it. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, this isn't happening. Well, at least you can make it over here quickly when my life's in danger. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> you douchebag. That is a total douchebag. What are you insane? I thought you were real. We're dying, Earl. Ugh, oh, why have I been, been nothing but nice to you today? And you've been spewing insult after insult. What did I ever do to you? Uh oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, so now you have nothing to say. Uh, I'm not falling for that again, Earl. Earl! Earl! Oh, shit. CPR! Oh, my God. Now I would feel really bad at being a... Because you think he was being a douchebag. Now you feel really douchebag for just yelling at him. <sighs> oh, no. Poor Earl. Even though he's just an old, cynical man, he was still a nice character. Okay, well, let's keep going on with the story, guys. I know we don't always get along, but I need you to come back. Dad. Oh, shoot. Well, that's a twist of eternity events, guys. Oh, Allison. Yesterday, I didn't have a chance to tell you, but I'm really happy you were here to help Earl. How's he doing? Not responsive, but still alive, thanks to you. I guess. Aww. That just so depressing. How the heck did I didn't get no more money? Well, I, oh, I forgot why I can't get money. Okay, makes sense. Sorry. I realize this is just going with whatever. So let's go and keep playing. Deliver multiple items to go one at a time. Blood pressure. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> See how much I'm paying attention. Thermometer. And you need a shot. Bubble time. Kill the bubbles. Kill the bubbles. Oh. God dang that's so technical. Wow, this is so interesting, guys. <sighs> oh wait here. Hold on, let me kill the bubbles first. Go check out people. Alright, blood pressure. Is your blood pressure awesome, dude? Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, this is interesting, guys. I'm just like... Try not to be all. So into this, guys. I'm just sorry. I'm so into this. It's like I get really on. Uh, okay, go down. Good job for me. Do I have more people? Hey, Mister, you're here. Oh, whatever that was. Oh 
Well, that one sucked. I did good the last time. That just made me all depressed now. But I found Oliver. At least we found the, the guinea pig. Aw. I'm so sorry, Earl. It It's all my fault. Please be alright. That's something I don't miss about being a doctor. What? Wow. All the worrying. Did you do enough? Is your patient going to be okay? It's not just that, Daniel. Nothing has been going the way it should. I was going to start surgery. I was going to press everyone. I was going to save people. Not have a patient who's, uh, who was under my watch almost die. I know things look bad right now. But think of it this way. At least things can get, can't get any worse. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Well, there's our prima mission, guys, I guess. That was pre mission? Alright, guys. Let's go to level six. Okay. On with the story. <sighs> I have to tell Michael I caused Earl's heart attack. Michael? Yes. I, I, I can't remember. Do we bandage clockwise or counterclockwise? Oh, wow, girly. Clockwise, and there's no shame in asking. Well, that kind of bummed me out. Oh, honey, you got to stand up, honey, and talk to him and tell him. Oh, my goodness. All right. Shower, you go to the seat. Oh gosh, ah! Probably the most messiest putting on cream ever. <laughs> Oh, I had to laugh at myself some days. Some days I don't know. I hear you. Where are you? Come on, we can do this, guys. I believe in myself. Come on. you the medicine that you need. What's that all about? It's like I couldn't get one bubble. Can't pop a bubble, guys. Oh, poor little child. Come on, we can do this. Do, 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 do. The shower takes forever. He wants a nice shower. Little man wants a shower. Come on, Earl. I want you to live, dude. I want you to live. Oh, 
would you want me to do? Just check you out to make sure you are okay? Peace out, guys. I did it again. Yes. And I found Oliver. And I did the challenge. Yay. But I didn't make it three stars. Boo. Slacking, guys. I'm slacking. Okay, you're back, Michael. What's up? Damn, some music. Good God. Michael, I have to tell you something really bad. I, I think I might have caused, caused your father's heart attack. He was trying to get a rise out of me, and I yelled at him. That was when he started shaking. <laughs> yes, he t does tend to annoy people. And by the way, you should always stand up to him. But Allison, unless you're li labeled medicine incorrectly, you didn't cause anything. Aww. Well, that makes me feel better. So better for Allison, too. <sighs> All right, guys. We're on to level seven with the story. Check out four or more golden heart patients once at multiple times. I think we can do it. I believe we can do it, guys. Sometimes tell, something tells me you're being pretty hard on yourself. I used to be the same way, but in the end, it doesn't help you at all. Take my dad. He's been hard on me ever since my adoption, even more so after mom passed. I could cower, but that influenced my self-worth, but that only hurts me more. No one's going to believe in you unless you believe in yourself. There you go, guys. That's a lesson you know. You cannot, if you're not, if no one's going to believe in you unless you believe in yourself. That is a good saying. I will totally support that for anybody. Of course, that's all theoretical. I don't believe it's three. Th 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 can't even say it. You can't say it once. You can't say it twice. Theoretical. You know, I don't even know if he loves me. Oh, that is sad. Okay, enough of this sentimental stuff. Let's get to work. Ooh, I would hate that feeling. That would suck. All right, guys. On to level seven. Something done. Check out. All right, lady, what you want to do? Do you want to be better job? I gotta realize this way it goes. You want the ear swabs? Okay, I gotta do more of that, but I would just, at this rate, I was just like, he was there and I was waiting on people. Cream, you need the cream. You need to go to a bed. You need to go to the shower. <laughs> the suckiest. You need a band aid. Where'd you at? Where'd you at? Where'd you at? Where'd you at? I hear you. Where'd you go? Oh, you're in there. <sighs> you want a band aid? Here you go, lady. I'm trying to get more. Ah, why is my game froze? Don't froze. There we go. Oh, sorry guys, a little bit of a hiccup there. I don't know why my green frame was freezing there for a second. That wasn't good. Kill the bubbles.
Okay, I almost have to do one more round of those people. Then we'll get the four star. We did the challenge. Now we just have to wait for this thing in the shower now. Okay. We can do this, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Whew. Come on. We can get this. We can go. We can go. Yes. And cotton, whatever that is. Conduct for you, child. I don't even know if she's a child or adult. I have no idea. I have no idea at all. What? What? We made it to three, guys. We made it to three. Okay, back to the story. And, well, she leaves, I guess. Alright, well, no story. Oh. She goes and go talks to Daniel. This is a mess. How the hell are you find anything in this office, dude? Oh, hey, Allison. Did we have a meeting? Well, no, but I was hoping to get Earl's medical records just to see if there's something I can do. That's very admirable, Allison. I think his file is uh, somewhere in this office. Right here. Okay. Thanks, Daniel. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> so sure of himself, like, huh. So sure of himself. Study up, Allison. Study up. You can do this, Allison. You can save him. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to go into this next part. And we're going to see the new story. Because now I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, Earl's file files are scattered. Find them all. Oh, that sucks. What happened? What'd you do? She just... Oh, she fell asleep on the floor? Hi. Allison? Allison? Oh. Did you sleep in the hospital? I might have... <laughs> She's like, uh, okay, but why did you sleep on the ground? There are like three good beds in here. I, I don't know. Oh no, Earl's files. I'm sure it's still all still there. Just collect the pages. I really wish I could help you, but with everything that's gone wrong at the pharmacy, I was here to pick up the prescription bottle with Earl's medication, but that seems to have disappeared. I didn't even ask about all the problems at the pharmacy. It's been pretty hectic all around. Maybe we can catch up after our year shift. You got a deal. Well, we can't buy anything, but let's go. There's a page there. There's a page there. Check you out. Cotton swab. You need a bed. You need the yellow stuff. You need the thermometer. Blood pressure. Am I seeing all the papers? Oh. Got another one. I hear you. Where are you? Oh, in the wall. Of course, let you be in the wall. Oh, band aid. Band aid. Cotton swab. We'll patch you up, child. Good graces, are you good, child? Am I seeing any more? Where are any more of these papers? Oh, 
like trying to look, guys, and if you see anything, I know you're probably all yelling at me like, it's there, it's there. Oh, wait, there's one right there. Wow, barely almost saw that one. Oh, crap, I need to get you over in there. Didn't realize that. I need the blue stuff. Oh, for Christ's sake, that's huge bubbles, guys. You see that, bubbles? Those are huge bubbles. They were not the small ones like the other ones. That was weird. I'm trying to find the papers, guys. I'm keeping an eye out for them higher than you think. Oh, come on, where are they? Am I totally missing them? Oh. Wow, this is so much fun, guys. I'm sitting there trying to Oh my goodness. Oh, come on, let me have the lady have the fucking. Oh. For a second, I was like, I have to check it. I just misread that, guys. I'm sorry. So I'm trying to figure out where all the other papers are. Oh. I suck at dragging, guys. I totally missed the one. I have no idea where they was. And you probably guys probably saw it and probably were yelling at me like, it's over there. And she's back. Ahem. I'm sorry, Ruth. I was looking over Earl's file again. There must be something I can do for Michael. You know, he doesn't even know if his dad loves him. I don't think you can find proof of love in a medical file, Allison. No, you can't. Some people, especially Earl, have had their heart locked far, far away. Ooh, never thought of it that way, guys. And it takes quite some time to find it. That's it! Ruth, you're amazing! I know, it comes naturally to me. <laughs> but why exactly? What does she have up her sleeve, guys? I have no idea what she has up her sleeve. Oh, pop up to you. Hi, Michael. All right, guys. Let's go to nine and see what we got to do. Never run out of stock. Well, that's going to be fun to try to keep up with. What are you so happy about? Queensboro Bridge Hospital. It's a nice hospital, but I don't understand why that makes you so happy. Your dad, he lives in Queensboro. He practically has a hospital next to his house. Yet he travels an hour and a half each week to go to the hospital you work at. Oh, your dad might not say a lot of positive things, 
but his actions speak way louder than words. And I know this doesn't get him out of his state, but this must at least prove he loves you a little. You know, I never thought of that. I, I've never thought about it like that. Thank you, Allison. <laughs> about to say the same words that came out of my mouth from him. Aw, nice friendship hug. Yay! Well, the only thing I could buy if I ever buy anything will be a picture, which I have no idea what it does. Checking a patient's eyes goes a lot quicker when they have something to look at. Eh, well, let's go with that. I'll buy for $100. I'm not going to hurt anything. All right. Never run out of stock. Okay. Down. Go take your shower. I'll check her out. Since you're going to take forever anyways. Cream for you. Or who knows what. Oh, I love how I just put stuff in. You need this. Go take the shower, kid. Cotton swab. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm going to make sure I never run out of stock, so I'm going to fill it up real quick. Do a quick checkup for you, lady. Take your shower. Make sure I restock. Because there was like two people that wanted their ears taken care of. You want a band-aid? What do you want? You want your blue, whatever that is, of a shot? Some shot. Don't know. Oh my goodness, guys. Cotton swabs. Cotton ball. Do, do, do. The shower takes forever to do. I don't really care for it. Okay, we need a quick check up for. We need this. You go here, child. Cotton ball. Band aid. One star earned, guys. I'm making double checking sure I don't run out of anything.
do a quick checkup on you lady you need the cream for who knows what cuts burns whatever it is i think these are some sort of cuts or scars i think we did it guys just to make three stars that sucks <laughs> i found all of her yay oh she's still worried what are you doing dude what are you doing I was hoping that Earl would be back before I had to leave for another department. I almost forgot. Tomorrow's your last day. I will really miss having you here. Aww. You want me to wash these sheets? Nah, I'll take care of it. You've done more than enough. Aww. Our last day in this department. We'll, we'll, we'll play it. We'll play it for our last day and then we'll end the video there. How's that sound? Alright guys, let's keep going. Help 10 patients in one minute. Well, there's a challenge, guys. Well, the challenge is accepted. <sighs> She's like, okay, she has a determined face on. Wake up! <laughs> yeah, that's one way to wake up. Somebody just freaking yell at them. Be my last day. It was worth a try. <laughs> You have to put your lungs behind it. Otherwise, it's never going to work. Wake up! <laughs> That's my dad. Even sleeping, he manages to do the exact opposite of what people want him to do. <laughs> well, there you go. Makes sense, guys. Makes sense. Well, I guess since we only have this, let's go ahead and, since our last day, let's buy the new bed. Alright, guys. Last day. Okay, check you out. What do you want, child? What do you want, child? Do you want this? Do, do, do. Cream for you, lady. I guess a scar cream to make sure you don't scar. I messed that up pretty badly, guys. I'm doing this, guys. We can do this. We are all determined here. On this channel, we're determined to get it done. Thank you, little guinea pig. Oh, there you are. It's like, where's that bubble at? That bubble was being a pain in the butt. Well, you're happy. Okay, come on. Next person. Do, do. Fixing you up here. Go take a shower. Go take that shower. That long shower. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Or somebody should have came up. One of the two. I didn't care who. Just somebody. Bandit for you, shower for you. We could do this, guys. I believe in ourselves. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about no, this dude. Not oh, ham, you weirdos. You need to go over here. You sit there. You lay here. You need to be checked out. You need this. You need to go lay down. Yes, I helped 10 patients under in one minute. Go take your shower, Grandpa. I'm gonna get you in. Yay. Guys, we can get this done. Hanks, all he wanted to come in is take a shower, that old little man. It's like, I just needed a shower. Didn't need anything else. What else do you need, honey? Your pen and side turds. Bondage for you. I'm 
for him to ham you out while they're waiting on him anyways. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to talk, guys. I'm sorry. It's like you get into this, you're like, I want to get in. Temmie, what are you doing? Little Temmie always comes by. It's the only child you see all day. Unless this person's a child, like a teenage child or something. Barely, guys. Barely had over that. Michael, complete your shift at the ward. I completed it. The pharmacy. You'll get to make medications, find medications, fill out prescriptions, and have a lot of fun with Ruth. Every ten shifts, you'll move to a new room. Okay. Well, that's cool. This is a cool game. Alright, what are you going to do, Allison? Aww. You did very well, Allison. To be honest, better than I expected when you first arrived. You care more than anyone, and that's what's going to make you an amazing doctor. Try to remember that. You're much, much better than you think you are. You've also been a great teacher. Bucket. Get me a bucket. Earl! Thanks. I might puke from this sappy mush. <laughs> There he is. Oh, good gosh. Good to have you back with us, Earl. Aw, at least on our last day, Earl became conscious. That's really good. Yay. You do know, right? Know what? You know that I, I, love, I, love, I know you do, Dad. Aw. That's a good ending to the story of this part. Yay. Oh, what's going on with you, Daniel? What's up? You're looking confused. Can't, can't figure out the paint swatch. It's like, what color should we make this, this hallway? Hey, Daniel. You look like you're having a hard time. I'm picking out colors for the new hospital. Like, how did I even know he was actually picking out colors for the hospital wing? I thought maybe he was looking at probably prescriptions or something. I thought maybe that that, but I was just making a joke about the paint swatches, but obviously not. I've got it down to Brandon's blue and parade blue. Well, that's names for colors of blue. Why don't you pick the color? Are you sure about that? Completely. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Every time. Every day time they say, what the worst could happen? This shows up. What the heck? Well, score nine hearts by finding medicine. Well, anyways. That was like the whatever that was. But, um, so. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, so we'll see how it goes in the next episode with the pharmacy since now we're in a new area. But, um, so yeah, please like and share this video and please subscribe and just remember you guys are all a book and it's still being written. So I'll see you guys all next time.